Welcome back to another Ray Contour video, and before we get into a quick intro here, but I want to tell you guys I'm going to start uploading more, because I'm dead inside, rich, and I have nothing better to do with my time, because people work for me, so they make me all the money. Anyway, two to three videos a week coming out from now on, two minimum. And before we get into it, of course, make sure to subscribe, because it would really help me out and make me happy, and only about 20% of the people watching this right now are subscribed, so do it. And let's get into the video. At stage 1, the new Flame Charm main has just started playing Deep Woken. Most likely he chose Fire because it's usually just a solid choice in video games as a whole. Alternatively, he chose it because the elements on Deep Woken kinda just sound really weak. Like you have Wind, like, bro I deal with Wind every day, that's not gonna hurt me. Ice, which is like, yeah I guess you could choke on it. Lightning, which is okay, but Fire just sounds the most destructive and powerful, which is why so many new players seem to gravitate towards it. Especially because lots of them don't even know what Shadow is if you're playing the game blind for the first time. Because shadow is a little bit obscure. In stage 2, the Flame Charm user has been using Flame Charm for a while now. At this point, they're really starting to enjoy Flame Charm. The talents are good, the mantras are solid, and it has a good mantra or ability for almost every situation you'll be in. You can also always light your campfires. The Flame Charm user has begun to solidify the fact that they're a Flame user, and they'll most likely feel uncomfortable using any other attunement, and they pretty much exclusively use Flame Charm, and whenever they're asked to switch to a different build or asked to make a different build, it's usually another Flame Charm build. The Flame user at stage 3 has now realized he's using what is literally the most powerful attunement in Deep Woken right now. After seeing a ton of people using it and finally figuring out what the Deep Fire Ring is, he realizes that Flame Charm is meta. Most of the time, flame users refute this meta and claim they aren't a metamancer. However, even if you aren't following the meta purposely while using flame charm, that still kind of makes you a metamancer. Why? Because I said so, and this is a YouTube video you're watching right now, so your opinion doesn't matter. Fuck you! No, I'm joking. I love you. The Flame Charm user has most likely started playing a lot of Chime of Conflict. Like anyone who has ever played Chime of Conflict for more than an hour, they are beginning to develop anger issues. The Flame Charm user is growing angry because their non-min-max build is not optimized to compete with all the Chime Metamancers, and this causes them to move into the next stage. After being sufficiently angry, the flame user has decided it's time for a change. He will now begin min-maxing every single build he makes. His flame builds need to have 591 health. His flame builds need to have a legendary or hold reaper bell. His builds need to have all the best talents, and in order to do that, he uses the Shrine of Order. He doesn't even bother crafting armor until Ignition, Deep Delver, or Black Diver. And he might even use the Light's Final Toll in a build. Absolutely disgusting. At stage 6, the Flame Charm main has begun to feel terrible about everything. And I mean everything. At this stage, they deny everything. They don't main Flame Charm. They don't Metamans. They don't have 2,000 hours in Deep Woken in the first week when it's released and it's not even possible. They don't play Chime of Conflict, or at least according to them and not the people they lose to. And maybe for a while, they even just stop playing Deep Woken. Bored of the meta, bored of Chime, bored of lack of updates, just bored of Deep Woken. The Flame Charm main in Stage 6 may leave Deep Woken for a while, as they take time to think about what they want to do with their free time other than Deep Woken. However, all they really know is Deep Woken. In Stage 7, the Flame Charm user has come back to Deep Woken, because it is the only thing they know for real. Regardless, Flame Charm users come back to Deep Woken, but they usually don't use as much flame as they did before. They have some sort of disdain in their heart for Flame Charm and Flame users as a whole, despite the fact it's still what they used to use before reaching this stage. Lots of the time they'll start using different attunements or even no attunement. And lots of the time they'll even use completely different builds, because most of the time Flame Charm users would use medium, now they'll start using heavy or light just to see what it's like during their period of their break from Flame Charm as a whole. And honestly, 
This is probably the healthiest point in a Flame Charm user's life, because it only gets worse at, than stage 8. The Flame Charm main has finally returned to his roots during stage 8. I say his, not hers, or theirs, because women don't play Deep Oaken and definitely wouldn't play Flame Charm. Regardless, they've begun playing Flame Charm again. After returning to Deep Oaken and playing Flame, which is their favorite attunement, the rage within them has subsided, temporarily at least. Even if they're getting smacked in Chime of Conflict, the worst they might say is kill yourself instead of screaming racial slurs through Roblox voice chat. At stage 9, the Flame Charmaine's era of peace is long over, because they've reached reversion. The Flame Charm user has begun to get angry again, however, instead of expelling this anger in a healthy way, and leaving Deepwoken like they did at stage 4 to 6, they instead take this rage and channel it into more Deepwoken. The Flame Charm user is taking this rage from his losses and putting it back into Chime of Conflict, creating a never-ending cycle of anger and pain and anger and pain, and then he wins a Chime of Conflict, and he's happy for 10 seconds, then he opens the chest, and there's nothing in it, and then he's back to anger. Through this, he becomes a better player, and eventually reaches stage 10. This is the final stage in a Flame Charm player's life cycle. Many of them never reach the stage, because they aren't good enough at the game. At stage 10, the Flame Charm user is easily considered a high skill player by many of his very few friends, even if those around him that aren't his friends don't want to admit it due to how toxic the user has become at this point. At this stage, the Flame Charm user is as toxic as he is good at the game. He min-maxes his builds, and he talks shit after winning or losing every single fight against someone, regardless of the circumstances he won in. He may be good at the game, but if you find him real in real life, I assure you he will fold. Not only that, but they will all talk shit regardless of whether they win and lose, and I guarantee you if they win, they're going to clip it, and if they lose, it never happened, unless there's a clip, in which case, it's not his account because he he's not the one playing on it. You are lying. You lost. Shut up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said before, there will be more videos coming from now on. So make sure to subscribe. I'm also going to like start doing more non-Roblox or just non-Deep Woken content. Because I want to make more Minecraft videos. And you guys need to watch them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you can all have a great day. If you want to, you can buy a YouTube membership to support me. And you can subscribe. So... Have a great day, and goodbye. I love you all.